Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars Vintage Collection Obi-Wan Kenobi 3-pack that's an Amazon exclusive. And um, as you can see here, they shipped it in the original Hasbro box. They're individually packaged per box. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And the box looks like it went through a little bit, so I'm hoping this is not messed up. Actually, it looks like it's in pretty good shape, so the box did a good job of protecting it. Alright, so we got Obi-Wan Kenobi from Tibidon Station. We got the Purge Trooper Phase 2 armor. Then we have Tika the Jawa. Uh, it says, Obi-Wan Kenobi is set years after the dramatic events of Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, where Kenobi faced the corruption of his friend and Jedi apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, turned Sith Lord Darth Vader. And I apologize, my nose is stuffy today. I've been trying to get sick, and I'm, um, I may sound a little nasally. Just show you a little bit of the outside packaging here it has pictures of the uh the three that's in there and then it's got the luke skywalker imperial light cruiser cal Kestis, artillery stormtrooper cassian andor and vil sartha shadows are trying to cast on there okay and it says each sold separately, subject to availability. All right, so let's open this up. All right, and these are individually carded once you open this. So, here we go. So they're pretty much packaged the same way as the other three packs that were Amazon exclusives. There was the uh, Desert Jabba's gift card three pack. And there was another one. I forget which one right off. <clears throat> so we got Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's got the Obi-Wan Kenobi logo at the top. It's a pretty good looking card. And they come on punch, so that's nice. And this is a VC257. Then on the back of these cards, it's got the same ones that I just mentioned on the top of that box over there. On the outside box. They all have the same figure lined up on the back, I think. Yeah. Okay. And then the Purge Trooper. They all have the Obi-Wan Kenobi logo and that looks like artwork it's not like a real picture and it's vc259 and then we got tika He looks almost identical to the Black Series version. Same accessories and everything. I think uh, Hasbro's getting to where they're able to just make things in the same mold but different scales. I could be wrong about that. He's a VC258. But considering how much that looks like the Black Series one. And I have the Black Series one so we'll compare them here in a minute. But... I mean, that looks like it's just a scaled down version, basically. All right, so let's open these up real fast. All 
I just extend my blade about as far as I can to get it up under there flat. And I just kind of, usually I try to slide the card instead of sliding the blade and it goes pretty smooth and you don't end up cutting the card and it stays pretty flat as far as getting all the plastic off so that they stack good without scratching the other cards up. So that's pretty smooth. That's my, my method of doing it. All right, so he's got the outer bubble. And I keep these. Um, if I were to get rid of them, throw them out, I'd recycle them. Like I said in other videos, they're number one plastic. So, see, there you go. Um, so you can actually recycle those for your Coke bottles or soda bottles. But what I do is I keep these, and they make great trays to put inside a drawer to store things, organizers. Okay, and it has this on the back that holds the backpack in. So it was like, it was like that behind him. Straight, yeah, that was, it goes like that. So you slide that out. So here's his backpack. And... He's got a lightsaber, a lightsaber hilt, and a gun. There's his lightsaber hilt. It's kind of bent. Looks like it. I, I bent it back, but it looks like it could. It wants to go back again. I might have to heat it up just a little bit, but that's pretty delicate. So if you're not careful, if you heated that up, that would, you could break that off really easily. So maybe I got it bent back. Looks pretty good now. Okay. It has a, a peg where you can put it on his belt. All right. And then he's got his gun. And then he's got his blue lightsaber. And I believe the hilts are supposed to be the same. It's supposed to be the... No, I'm wrong. I think... Hang on. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, it is. It's supposed to be the same lightsaber. One's out, one's not. Okay, but that one, the one that's lit up has a little darker, that's what threw me off, that's a little darker on the end there where the lightsaber is. This one's a little bit more silver, and this one's a little more blacker on the, on the end here, right there. That's a little darker than on this one, it's silver. Okay, and that's also a good way to keep from losing your stuff while you're setting things up or checking things out. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's see. He also looks a lot like the uh, Black Series version, just scaled down. Alright. So, I think, first of all, I'm going to try to see what happens if we take his cloak off. Oh, let's do that last. I don't want to mess it up yet. <laughs> All right, let's look and see how the gun fits in here. Does it fit in the holster? Oh, there it goes. Okay, I was gonna say it looks like it should fit in there, but it was. It was actually like stuck together, like it melted or something. So let's see if we can get it in there now. It's going to be a pretty tight fit if it fits. And that, gu that gun is very flimsy too. It wants to bend before it gets in there. 
Oh, I think it goes this way, actually. Let's see. I'm not even sure. It doesn't want to fit in there really good, though, either way. It fits. It's just, it's a tight fit. I'm not sure. Maybe this does go the other way because it has a hole down there. So maybe the longer part sticks out that hole. This gun is very. I would like to see a harder plastic used for these. That is so flimsy. There we go. I got it. It took some doing. Like I said, this was like stuck together like it was flat almost, like it wasn't meant to be used. And I popped it loose and it took a little bit. The camera's not on the focus today. Alright, so there's that. And where does his lightsaber go? Okay, there's the peg hole for his lightsaber under his left arm all right we'll try to stick that on there okay that did that went better that little tab is a little harder plastic than that gun was I was gonna say that will never fit in there if it's that flimsy that actually works pretty good there <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry again for my nasally sound I have today. Okay, I'm going to put this one in his hand. I'll, I'll take this cloak off here in a minute. I just didn't want to mess it up because sometimes you can't get them shaped back right once you take them off. I wanted to pose him so he looks like without tampering with it first. All right. Do not want to line up right. There we go. Okay. We'll stand him over here. We'll also see what he looks like with this backpack on. I think you'd have to take the cloak off to get that on, so without it being all crazy looking. So we'll look at that in a minute too. Let's open these other two. So here's the purge trooper. with is this blaster he has the cloth good skirt I think that looks good actually a lot of people don't like like the cloth good skirts but I'm okay with them. I guess the main complaint people have is the Tarkin one. He had like just the bottom part of his outfit was cloth and the top part was plastic. So I guess it's like two different textures. But this is actually supposed to be a skirt and it's so that actually works. All right. Here he is. Got a pretty good art deco there. I like that. Good red and black um, combination. Uh, 
know the backpack it is molded on. I don't think it comes off. Oh, it does come off. Okay. So he does have a removable backpack thing. Not really a backpack, but some kind of some kind of thing that he has on his back. <laughs> that actually comes off. So pretty good size pig. It's almost the same as the uh, rocket farm or the the Boba Fett rocket. I wonder if it would be the same if he could put a rocket pack on. There he is. See if we can get him to stand here. Alright, and then we got Tika. I don't know why I want, I want to go Tika Tika. Another good thing about these trays is they, a lot of times they're the same size and you can stack them. I have a whole stack of these that I keep for, because they don't take a lot of space to store when you do them like that. So I, I hold on to those for like drawer organizers or when I get to do more customizing, um, this plastic's good to have to make a windows. If you're like making some kind of diorama, it needs like some glass or a vehicle that has glass in it you can put you can cut this out as flat plastic so i keep them for that too just for uh craft customizing fodder but otherwise they get used for drawer organizers usually and all three of these stack right in each other so that's pretty good Here he is. And trying to pull his sleeve back so you can see the he got cloth good a cloth good robe on. But even if he didn't that looks like a pretty good sculpt underneath for the cloth. I mean, almost it just like, looks the same as if it's plastic and still cloth. So. Same on that side. Got a good weathered, tattered looking sculpt to it. All right, and then he's got his little bandolier that. Is removable. His, I don't know if you can see that, but his hood is actually not attached to his face, and that's the first time I've seen that on a Java figure. I think. I'm gonna pop his head off and look. I think it is glued to it. But it's basically a head inside a hood. Can you see that? So you could actually have a jaw without a hood if you could figure out how to unglue the top of this. Or you could have a good hood for a custom of some kind. I don't think I've seen a Java hood like that before where it it's not actually all molded in one piece. Let's see if I can get this off. It's glued at the top, I think. That's different. I mean, it's pretty flexible, too. I mean, I can get it up high enough to get above his eyes. Look at that. Well, he's still wrapped in some 
bandages or something, I guess. So we still don't get to see what a Jawa looks like, but that's pretty interesting. Okay. And this comes off and you can take its vest off. I hate to disassemble this because I'm afraid I'm going to never get it but looking at it again, but I'm doing this in the name of collectors YouTube channels. So you don't have to. Okay. Um, so there's his vest. There's his bandolier. Like I said, his hood technically would come off if you pulled on it hard enough. All right. And let's see what happens if we take his robe off. Hope you got underwear on. Exposed on my YouTube channel. There he is. All right. That's pretty cool. I don't know that we've seen a Jawa that's not completely molded all the way up either. Usually they're. Even if they have cloth goods, I don't think, I don't know. I, I might take that back. I, I haven't really disassembled all these before, but um, that's the first time I've seen this. So I'd have to go look at the other ones and see if they do that. That might be another video. We'll do a Jawa comparison video. I have all of them, I think. So, And I wish that hood would come all the way out. I'd like to see what he looks like when he's in his underwear getting ready for bed. I'm just going to see if I can get it off. I may regret it. As long as I don't tear it. Oh, it's glued pretty hard there at the top. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Right up here. It's pretty much the entire part of this is glued to the top of his head. So you could get in there and work on it and try to get it to come loose. But he'd have some of this color still on his head. If you did, you'd have to paint it black. I wish they'd made that where it came all the way off. I'd just be cool. See him walk around in his pajamas. Like it's a Jawa at the end of the day where he's. Just imagine his hood's completely off here. The Jawa in his loungewear. <laughs> okay. So. He still looks kind of cool. He could be like a cool Jawa Jedi custom or something. Okay. So. I'm going to reassemble him real quick and put all his clothes back on. We'll see how easy that is. It's probably easier to take them off and get them on, I'm thinking. Okay, let's go ahead and put his vest on. And one other thing that I don't like about how they do these is they do not finish these cloth goods. And if you played with them a lot, they would just fray apart because they, if they could just somehow figure a way to singe the edge of that or put a little glue on the edge of it or something to keep it from fraying, but like the Yoda figures and all these that they do the cloth good capes on, they all have this tattered look, but then they leave them where they can fray really easily. So, I mean, like I just took that on and off once and it's already got a big old string hanging off. If I did that a bunch, if I was a kid, I like to play with this a lot. Like I did when I was, I was a kid with my original Kenner figures, that wouldn't last a week probably. <laughs> Before it was just really bad looking. Okay. We're about getting put back together here. Get his arm to bend back right. Which way is it bend? 
Okay. Oh, and we got to put his bandolier back on. That's not too hard once you get his head off. Put his head back on, and there he is. He's back together. And a little worse for wear with this string. I'll have to cut that off. That's my point. If you end up cutting these strings off every time, eventually you'd be down to nothing. So if they could just somebody figure out a way, I would actually go back and fix all my figures if somebody knows of a way. Leave a comment. I don't know if anybody's tried singeing these. I think singeing these would like make it catch on fire like a wick. But um, I wonder if putting just some just a small amount of clear glue on the end of that would keep that from fraying any worse, or if it'd make it look too bad. There's some reason Kenner doesn't do it. I'm sure Hasbro. So they must think it takes away from the look, which it probably has some kind of crusty shininess to it or something so if anybody's found a good way to do that they let me know they found a way that doesn't make it look uh you know takes away from the look of it I'm go ahead and cut that off all right he looks pretty good again now got the strings everywhere all right, so he's got this thing, which is a, I'm not sure what this is. He came with the same thing with the Black Series, but I think it's just something he's selling. And then he's got this thing, which is something else he's selling, I guess. And he's got his gun. Let's see how good that fits in his hand here. That fits in there real good, actually. Sometimes these Jawa guns don't want to, you have to I actually... Sometimes they're so big for the little Jawa's hand, you can't get them in there. This one works pretty good. It is pretty flimsy, but it keeps its shape, so I'm alright with it. Once they keep their shape, or if it's something you got to push through a hole, like a gun with a holster, as long as they fit in there without taking all day trying to get it not to flex and stuff okay so i'm gonna stand, stand all these back up we're gonna look at obi-wan um without his cape on all right and hopefully he won't be such an ordeal as like the jaw was but i'm gonna try to pop his head off i think that would be the quickest oh it, it pops right off that's good okay that's not bad that made it easy, so I like that. So I, I can keep it over here on the side without messing up the shape of it, which is what I was worried about. And let's see what he looks like over here with his backpack on. All right. That's a pretty good looking figure. I like that. All of them are actually. I'm I'm pleased with all these. Pretty good likeness. I have that new uh, face technology now, where they can really get the likenesses down. I'm gonna see if I slip this over his backpack. What it looks like. It may look too bulky. Oh yeah, it's so bulky I can't get it to go down to the hole there. And his head, the stem for his head is a ball joint neck, so it's like if it stuck up through here, it'd be a little easier. Okay, maybe I can do it. We'll see. Okay, so. <laughs> Well, it looks like a hunchback. But what is it with hunchback figures? But anyway, um, I don't guess he's really meant to have that on the underneath, really. It looks okay that way. I mean, it's not horrible. But he looks better with it out the backpack in this. Let's try putting it on the outside of the cape. Okay. 
Okay. And it has the uh, articulation, like a lot of the vintage collection figures do. It turns up here. And it, it turns at the waist, but it don't turn so good at the waist just because the way it's shaped. The way it's just kind of stiff. I think it's because this uh, cloth, or it's not cloth, the plastic skirt thing here, though. It's, Oh, he's pretty good. He, he turns pretty good. Maybe he's just kind of being loosened up a little bit. But it does pop off his lightsaber if you're not careful. So don't lose that. Put that back on there. Oop. Hang on. There we go. That one pops in pretty good. Pretty easily. Okay. So we're going to put this back on here. The way it was originally. Like that. It keeps its shape pretty good. They have stitching in there to, to make it keep its shape. Like right here. So I know some of these, they just like kind of wrapped around. You can never get them back the way they were in the package. But this one's actually stitched together, so it keeps its shape. So I'm sure if you played with it a lot, you'd probably screw up the original way it layers and stuff but all right i want to see if the backpack on top of all this works because it's going to make that to get up under his armpit but the straps on it go down pretty far so it may work all right all right i just want the bunch up back here Okay, that doesn't look too bad. The backpack on top of the shawl or whatever that is. So you can actually do the backpack on the outside. It straps it down kind of tight, but it's not too bulky. It looks crazy. So thank you for watching. I think I'm done reviewing all this. I've covered about all of it, I think. Um, let me know what you think about them. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the channel. I'm just getting it up and running. I'm new at this. I'll take constructive criticism. Just be nice. <laughs> Don't tear me apart. But uh, I'm having fun doing it. I'm, and I'm sorry my nose is so stuffy today. I probably won't do a lot today. This will probably be my... I might do one more later today, but... Just because I've got some time off right now. I forgot that so I was going to um, compare the Vintage Collection with the Black Series. Um, so these look almost like 3D printed. I mean, I don't think they're 3D printed, but the same kind of idea where you scale things down. So, I mean, they're almost identical. It's just one smaller scale is what I'm trying to say. And the the larger ones are more detailed as far as the painting and stuff like on the see on this I didn't paint that part but they did this. But other than that, they're pretty much identical except one's a smaller scale. And the same with this. So I'm not sure how they're going about doing the uh what kind of technology they used but it seems almost like they have one sculpt and they make it different sizes i could be wrong if anybody knows let me know God. i don't want to say something wrong but it, that's what it seems like and i'd like to know how they do it if it's i don't think it's 3d printed because that would take a long time to produce it seems like but... all right and then on this the, the black series one does not have cloth good. So I do like that it. it has a cloth good, even though it kind of, like I was talking about earlier, the, you have to be careful about unraveling. But um, this one doesn't have it. So let's look at their sleeves and see if it's, if the sculpt looks the same. We'll pull this back. 
we'll see if the end of their sleeve looks the same. That might be why they did such a good job on that. I was talking about because it was just they did it for this one that wasn't going to have a cloth goods, soft goods cloth cloak. Yeah, I would say that's probably the same. I'm just kind of looking at the uh, kind of goes in and then up and then goes in and then it's like a little toothy thing. And then it goes in and up and in, and it has this little toothy thing. Now the detail in here, since it's smaller, it doesn't have all the fine. You see this a little better, but it's there. It's just since it's scaled down, you lose some of the uh, some of the details. So I believe it is something like that. Oh, let's look at this real quick. Oh, and they also, I didn't notice this before when I opened this one, but it also has that hood that's technically not attached to his head, so it's glued up here at the top. The glue's up here around here somewhere. If anybody uh, has actually t taken one, oh wait, this one's a little different, hang on. Look back here. If I can get the light to go in there where you can see it. Can you see that? There's like a peg, like a tab on the inside of that hood, and that go, goes into the back of his head, and that's where they glued it. So, yeah, it's glued. But this one might be easier to remove than the vintage one, because, no, it's, it's still at the top, too. So the other one's probably got the same thing. It's glued, there's just like a, ridge on the inside of that that goes kind of up and over and that glues into the back of it kind of like a tab it goes to the back of his head and glues yeah i think this one's the same so so there's a you would have to loosen it up all the way across the top and all the way across the back i mean if you want to get off and you weren't worried about running it it'd be easy enough to get in there with some snippers and just go to town on it so that would be an interesting uh, little, little project, actually. I think these are on sale at Target right now. I might get another one of these just to uh, do some little Frankenstein research on. But anyway, um, there's the differences. There's the similarities, really. It seems like they're pretty much, except for this one having cloth goods, soft goods, cloth his cloak and this one's all plastic cloak but other than that they are pretty much the same sculpt i think it's just one scale down now the hoods are a little different other than other than the hoods they're about the same but this hood's obviously a different sculpt and it even has like little tassels on the back and this one doesn't and it comes this one's a little bit more pointier than this one so the hoods are different but I think everything else looks like the same sculpt but scaled down. So if that answers any of your questions or curiosities, um, let me know in the comments. If you like that kind of stuff, and the comparing of the two, or if you just like to see the reviews, or what is it y'all like? Do y'all like uh, me to go look at older figures or just the new stuff? Or let me know in the comments what you prefer, and I'll know what to focus on on my next videos. So thanks for tuning in. And, um, like I said, I'm new at this. I'm enjoying doing it. Leave me some feedback.